This is the 12th video in my series on three-phase power transformers. In this video, I'll be looking at the current flow in a delta to y connected transformer. You can find out more on this subject in my course entitled Electrical Three-Phase Power Transformer Fundamentals. You can access this and my other courses on my stand store at this web address. So having looked at the voltages as far as the phase relationship and the magnitude relationship is concerned, I would like to now look at the currents of this transformer. And we're going to have to add a load, of course, to make the currents flow in the transformer. And as I said, I'm going to add a load to this transformer and it's going to be connected in a Y configuration. Uh, I could have just as well connected it in Delta, but we have to choose something. So I chose a Y and I'm going to maintain a balanced system here. And I'm going to also say that the load is purely resistive because I want to maintain that any phase shifting that's going on is because of the transformer and not the load. I'm going to designate the current flowing in the secondary red phase as I align with a subscript R dash sec or secondary. And that is the same current because of the Y connection on the secondary as the current that is flowing in the secondary red phase winding of the transformer. And because it's magnetically linked with the primary side, it is in phase with a current flowing in the primary winding of the transformer. Now, a couple of things to make note of here, that the current uh, is going to be coming, or the power is going to be coming from the primary side connection because the load is on the secondary. So the current on the red phase as well as the other phases are going to be flowing into the spot of the primary winding. And if the current is flowing into the spot of the primary, it has to be flowing out of the spot on the secondary. And a similar relationship holds true for the other two phases. Before going any further, you have to remember that uh, the voltage on the secondary side of the transformer, we've already gone through the process, is uh, made up of uh, the phasers of a red, white, and blue balanced system, and those voltages are 120 degrees apart. So the current on the secondary side that's flowing into the load is going to be in phase with the voltages because the load is resistive. So the currents on the secondary are going to be 120 degrees apart and balanced, of course. So that the currents flowing in the transformer windings, as you see there, are going to be at 120 degrees apart which means the currents flowing in the windings of the primary are also going to be 120 degrees apart. So once the load is connected to the secondary, it will draw current from the primary lines. Looking at the red phase line, for example, it will be made up of the current that will be flowing in the red phase transformer winding minus the current flowing in the blue phase transformer. Adding those two vectors or phasers together gives us a total current flowing in the red phase primary line, which forms an isosceles triangle, which we should recognize uh, whose contained angles are 120 and two at 30 degrees. Comparing it to the line currents of the secondary, it can be seen that the secondary will lead the primary by 
30 degrees. That is the secondary line currents will be leading the primary line currents by 30 degrees. I now want to look at the magnitudes of the currents. The familiar isosceles triangle makes the magnitudes of the red and blue phasors equated in this way. Remembering that we are dealing with magnitudes only here, then the magnitude of red will be equal to the magnitude of minus blue. which means we can write our magnitude of our line current, our red phase line current, in terms of the current that's flowing in the winding of the red phase only, such that the line current of the red phase is equal to root three times the quantity, the magnitude r plus the magnitude r all over two which equals root three, two times the magnitude of r all over two. And of course, the uh, twos will cancel out, leaving us with the equation that the current flowing in the red phase primary line is equal to root three times the current that's flowing in the, or in the, the red phase transformer winding. You can say it in general terms also that the current flowing in the primary line, depending on which phase you're talking about, is equal to root three times the current that's flowing in the winding of the associated transformer leg. And I call that I subscript capital line to line. So we know we're talking about the primary side. And at the risk of repeating myself, but I'll try to put some visuals up for it, the current that's flowing in the individual windings of the transformer are going to be equated to the current that's flowing in the individual windings of the transformer such that the magnitude of the line current is equal to root 3, the current that's flowing in the individual transformer winding on the primary side. Looking at the turns ratio of the individual legs of the transformer, we can define the turns ratio by looking at the ratio of the voltages of the line-to-line -line primary voltage over the line-to-neutral secondary voltage. And that's, of course, we'll equate that to A, which is the turns ratio of the individual leg of the transformer. And we know that if we were to had current flowing in that transformer, that the turns ratio would be defined by just the inverse of that, which is the current that's flowing in the uh, secondary line uh, all, all over the current that's flowing in the primary line to line. Now we're talking magnitudes here because the ratio is a magnitude. So we got these two fractions that define the turns ratio of the transformer. We can rewrite that second one and we can rewrite it again such that the magnitude of the current that's flowing in the winding of the primary side transformer is equal to the magnitude of the secondary line current all over the turns ratio, which now allows us to make a substitute in the 
previous equation that we developed over on the right hand side of the slide which means we can now define the primary line current in terms of the secondary line current and that is the primary line current is equal to root 3 times the secondary line current all over the turns ratio of the transformer. And now I'd like to define the term 1 over A primed as the ratio of root 3 all over the turns ratio. That's just to make our equation a little bit easier to look at. So we can rewrite that equation such that the primary line current is equal to 1 over A primed times the secondary line current. And those are magnitudes. However, we can change them into phasors by simply adding the angle of the phasor that which, you, which we've already developed. And we know that the secondary leads the primary by 30 degrees. So in phasor terms, I line primary is equal to 1 over A primed I line secondary minus 30 degrees. This video is part of my electrical technical information series. In this series, I'll be covering essential topics to help you understand electrical systems. Be sure and stay tuned, as I will also, from time to time, be reviewing electrical products that, in my opinion, are worthy of paying attention to. Some of those products include EcoFlow's big and small standby generators. This is the best time to try out any of EcoFlow's products because they are having a huge sale starting April 4th and lasting until April 21st. Here are just a few of their products, starting with the EcoFlow Delta Pro and Delta Pro Ultra and the Delta 2 Max, including the river line of smaller standby generators, the Delta 2, the Wave 2, the Glacier, and the River 2 Pro. The River Pro, the River 2 Max, and the River 2. And a range of portable solar panels, including a 400 watt portable solar panel and a 200 watt bifacial, and the Glacier. And finally, a unique product, the Wave 2 which is a portable air conditioner slash heater that fits anywhere. To obtain more information on this subject, simply fill out the information requested when you go to this website. Before I end this video, I want to repeat the connection to obtain my free copy of The Ultimate Guide to Residential Standby Generators and receive access to the major April sales on many of the EcoFlow products. Also, here's the connections to obtain a free copy of my 50-page electrical power crib sheets. And finally, here's the link to all of my electrical courses, which are located in my stand store.